weather shifted super dramatically. Like it was really clear. And now it is absolutely not. Hello everyone, we are back and we are on day three of our young frau pass. Bugs. So today we're doing one of my favorite hikes. It's from Kleine Scheidegg, which is the last stop before you get on the train to go up to Jungfrau. And we're gonna go either to Almond or Wangen. So. But this is probably one of the best hikes because you have a view of all three of the peaks the whole entire time you're walking down. And you can't beat that. Mm -mm. So we're making our way down. I think it's about a, a three, maybe two mile hike. Not very long, but it's not super long, but it takes a bit just because you're winding so much and going up and down and up and down. Let's go. So somehow I don't think we've ever seen real tadpoles, but we're like totally amazed by them. But I think they're lizard tadpoles, not frogs. So maybe they're not called tadpoles. I don't know. It's like everything I always wanted to learn in biology. We're gonna go say hi to the cows. All right, we are back in Vangen, round two. Last time we came up here, we didn't really realize that the uh, the, the lift was closed. Close so. it. Closes. <laughs> Weird. So we played chess over there last time. This time, we are going to go up the lift. To man like it. Yes, and again, we have some food, yes. and we will enjoy it on the way up, possibly. No, well, probably on the top. On yeah, the top. we won't eat with all the people around us, but. <laughs> like. <laughs> clouds surrounding us you can feel the moisture you can even kind of see it it's all just kind of flowing past us this is insane I've never seen anything like this before because even when I've been on top of mountains in Colorado and stuff like this the hole like this and if they do they told me to go down really awesome yeah it, the weather shifted super dramatically like it was really clear and now it is absolutely not clear at all so that's kind of cool but we're gonna go up and see to come back up to first uh, that cable car up from Grindelwald just because it's really perfect out right now like every it really cleared up since this is one of our favorite places to go we thought why not
it's our last day in Switzerland, so I'm not super happy about that, but whatever. And we spent the morning walking around Marin, and now we're gonna head back up to Manlikan because it looks clear, but it looked clear last time before that storm came in. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, we're hoping it's a little bit clearer this time um, and stays that way so that we can do the hike up to the, royal, do the whole royal walk this time and not get destroyed by the wind. Way up the hike and it's still like relatively clear but you can see Grindelwald pretty well <laughs> and on the other side you can see Lauterbrunnen really well and you can see Interlaken well so even though it's cloudy it's not bad. Okay, so we have made it to the top of the Royal Walk, and you can see Grindelwald, Schneegel Plot, Interlaken, Lauterbrunnen, and then what else? Wangen and Murren. So you can see everything from up here. And we can also see the rain falling over there, which is so cool. It's rain. And then we can also see pretty much everywhere we've hiked around this area. So. Shinigo plot is over there. I, this is an amazing view. And definitely worth the uh, extremely steep incline. <laughs> Down. We're gonna go play chess again, but we found bunnies. So we're just just chilling by the bunnies right now. But yeah, we're getting ready to go play some chess over there. Now we are headed back down to Lauterbrunnen. We're gonna walk through the valley and look at all the waterfalls. And the sun appears to be staying out, so we'll find out. made it to the first waterfall you can see in the valley and this valley is just gorgeous like it's probably the most well-known valley in Switzerland if not all of Europe I don't know how many valleys are popular but <laughs> this one is uh, there's a really beautiful cemetery this is Stobuk Fall the first fall that you come to walking through the valley, it's the only one we're going to walk to today just because it's getting later and we need to pack and stuff. But you could actually climb up to about right there. And we did that last time we were here. It's a really cool walk up there. You're behind the waterfall. So that's really a different experience. Making our way back to the train station to go back to Interlochen. It's like down boring, so we're hiding out in this little shop cover until it stops raining so much. Because even with my umbrella, it's like I'm getting soaked. It's insane. There's a little patch of clear sky over there that's like taunting us. Because it is so close, but it is not, it's not coming. It's not making its way here. We're heading back to the train station to go back to Interlaken Post, and it is still raining. Make no way.
last night here. We were in full on packing mode. There's crap everywhere, but we had a really great time in Interlochen and I'm really glad we decided to include it on this trip since we have been here before and we really wanted this trip to focus on more new places that we haven't gone yet, but I think we both agree that it was well worth including. Christian nods, yes. So we will always and forever recommend exploring this region of the world. I mean like with you in it. Yeah. Remember when I did that? And you're like, yeah, she doesn't want to do anything. So we What? Dog. <laughs> what? So you're gonna say something funny. Uh, Excuse me? No. <laughs>